Hi everyone. So today we're going to be looking at um, the Geneva Confection, which is an S3 problem from 2014 from the CCC Waterloo Computing Contest. And basically, we have a list of railway cars, each assigned a positive integer from 1 to n, okay, as seen here, and they're on a mountaintop. And our goal is to get them in order in the lake. So first we would get one, two, three, four. In this example here, we would get them one, two, three, four. However, we can't move them around in the list. So, so we like we can't just take one from here and move it into the lake because four is blocking its way. However, we have this side branch where we can store cars for like temporarily and then to get access to the next cars. And then we can move them from either the branch or the mountaintop into the lake. So in this example, we would first move four into the branch, so four would be here, and then we would move one here. Then, then we reach three, and, it's, and we have one in the lake, so the next thing we have to put in the lake is two. So we would move three into the branch, then two down, and then we have nothing left in the mountaintop. So then we would go to the branch, and since the next thing we have to put in the lake is 3, we would put 3 in the lake, and then 4, okay? And then we either have to output whether or not it's possible or not. However, our input is a bit more complicated, because there will be multiple tests, okay? And for each test, we either have to output yes or no, okay? So if it's possible or not. And so the first part of the input specifies how many tests there are. Then on the next line, how many cards there are in the next list. So here we have two tests. In the first test, we have four inputs. See, so one, two, three, four, four. And then in the next, we also have four inputs. One, two, three, four. See, so now let's go and program this. This problem has two steps going through the input and like separating it into the tests and then testing each case if it's like if it's possible print y if it's not print n okay so i have a function called solve which is where you like um where you call up the name of the file as a string so it'll open the file Okay, then read the file, and th this is a list, and now count represents a variable representing our spot in the list, that's our whole file that we just read. So, number of test cases is the first, like, the first thing in our list, which is how many test cases. So, like, if we look at our first input, 5, that'll be the first thing that it looks at because that's how many test cases there are. And then it'll iterate through the number of test cases. And the first thing it'll look for is how many carts are in the like list. How many carts are in this test case? And once it finds that, it'll iterate through that and it'll put all those carts into a new list called list of cards that I'll then pass through into this function called solve for each, which returns either true or false, depending on if it's possible or not, and it takes in our list, okay? And if it's possible, it prints y. Well, if it's not, it prints n. So now, this is the actual function that solves if it's possible or not. So we start off by making an empty list that will act as a stack that represents our, the like little side branch from the diagram. And here we'll put stuff onto the end and pop it. So like that that's our whole thing. And then we have next spot, and this variable represents what's going to be the next thing that we have to put into the lake. Okay, and then spot on mountain is the length of our whole list minus one. So basically, it's since we have to go through the mountain list backwards, it's what is on the like the, the first thing that we have to take off the mountain. Okay, and now we have this while loop that will keep iterating. 
until next spot is greater than the length of um, cards. So wh why is that? Because we know that it goes through 1 through n, and n is the length of uh, order of cards. So once we get to that, we know we're done. So now I have this uh, if statement that, that this is where all the magic happens. So our first condition is if like order of card spot on mountain equals next spot, uh, next spot plus equals one and spot on mountain equals one. So this is if the next thing on the mountain is n is the same thing as next spot, which is what we have to like put into the lake next, then great, next spot plus one, because we've reached that, but also go one back onto the mountain. Now, if it's not that, it'll check if the branch has anything in it, and if the last thing on the branch, so branch at negative one, equals next spot. And if it does, we will take it off the branch, so that we don't like come to it again and also next spot plus equals one because again we like we put the next spot on and then it'll go through again spot on mountain so if if spot on mountain is uh greater than or equal to zero it'll take it off it'll put it onto the uh, branch okay so it'll like and spot on mountain minus one. So basically, if it if none of neither the branch nor the like the um, from the mountain neither can go into the next spot on the lake, it'll take it from the next spot on the mountain and put it into the branch. And if none of those can happen, it'll just return false. And that's the other condition onto this while loop because if this happens, then our while loop ends. Now, if if this happens and the while loop finishes, it returns true. So let's uh, run this. And notice that the output appeared pretty fast. So it was under under the five second limit. And this is for the fifth test case. So let's look at that. And we see that's the same thing. And let's try some other ones. So if we just copy this. And let's do for the first one, okay? Now let's run this. Actually, I should add a print there, just so that we, yeah. So if we look at one dot out, see, it matches the thing, the, my output. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helped you. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff to Coding with Mike for more CCC videos.